Ariel Hawani for MMARated.com at the Strikeforce weigh-ins in San Jose, being joined by Gilbert El Nino Melendez. Gilbert, this is a fight that a lot of people have been waiting for, especially in the Bay Area. A day out, how are you feeling? I feel great. Uh, you know, I'm just waiting to make weight, and uh, after I eat and drink, I'll be feeling marvelous, but uh, excited to fight. I think it's a great matchup. It's going to be a good one for the fans, and uh, I'm looking forward to a war. Now, this is the first time that Strikeforce is running the HP Pavilion without Kung Lee and Frank Shamrock, two big stars, but I think they're banking on you for being their next local big star. Do you, are you ready to sort of take over that mantle of being the, the next big star in the Bay Area? Hell yeah, man. I was born for this, dude. This is what I think I was born for, so I'm really excited that uh, they got faith in us, and, um, you know, we got to start somewhere right here. You know, this is, this is a start. I don't know how crowded it's going to be, but I guarantee everyone that came to watch this, that's coming to watch this fight is going to come to watch the next one. So, you know, I'm looking forward to putting on a great show, and I, I guarantee I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to be out there and I'll leave it all out there. In short, what are you expecting from Josh tomorrow? Josh is a great fighter, man. In my opinion, he's top 10. I, I train super hard for this fight. It, you know, he's a pioneer in the sport. He's an amazing fighter, and our styles clash, and we, we match up really well. So, um, you know, I'm expecting a war. I'm expecting one for the history books. You know, we're, we're, both of us are going to go at it, and uh, I'd say don't blink when you, when you watch this fight. It's going to be a great one. And this has been an interesting few months for you, uh, suffering your first loss in December over in Japan against Ishida. Then you come back in March, you pick up a win, you're back on the winning track. Now I'm thinking that, you know, the bad loss of that fight in December, I mean, I know you thought that you won, is over, you're done with it, and you're, you're, you're back focusing on getting a winning streak going? Yeah, definitely. I, I'd love to run that one back with Ishida, you know. Um, he was a better man that day, you know, and he, did, he you know, they gave him the W, and, you know, so be it. He wins, he wins, and... Um, and, uh, you know, you learn from it. Like they say, you learn from your losses. Uh, I feel like I matured a lot as a fighter. I feel like I, I refocused. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm going to be, be a, a lot more prepared to go with Melendez out. And, uh, and yeah, you know, it's behind me. I, you know, I got a long career, man. You know, you, you might hit some bumps in the road. And, you know, it's not how you start. It's just how you finish at the end of your career. And, um, you know, I, I just want to be one of the, the most exciting and greatest fighters, you know, ever out there. And, um, you know, and I, I think I'm on, the, I'm on the right track for that. If you get by... Uh, Josh tomorrow. Is that the fight you're looking for, a rematch against Ishida? Yeah, I am looking for that. If we can do that over here in the States, that'd be, that'd be nice, you know, but um, you know, I, I don't even know if it could happen, but it, it'd be nice to get that one done in the States, um, definitely. All right, well, he is Gilbert El Nino Melendez headlining tomorrow's show at, uh, at the HP Pavilion for Strikeforce. Best of luck to you, Gilbert. Thank you, man.